one of the most amazing lessons was one that absolutely defies description. A young uh, teacher in the program who was an uh, English as a second language uh, teacher, but she was working within a large classroom. So it was close to 30 second graders, and um, there was maybe a third of those um, where English was not their first language. And she was working with um, small children, young children, and she was working with four important documents. So um, she had a relatively large version of the Constitution up next to the Declaration of Independence, next to the Gettysburg Address, next to Martin Luther King's um, I Have a Dream speech. And the kids uh, together found language that was consistent across all four documents and highlighted and colored and circled and whatnot and talked about what those concepts were. And did those concepts mean the same thing at the founding of the nation as they did in the time of Martin Luther King? She then um, put uh, a couple of those, at least, on audio. So an actor was reading the Gettysburg Address, and the kids' hands would shoot up when they'd hear that familiar vocabulary. And then she did uh, the Martin Luther King speech similarly, although in his words this time. She had visual pieces where she had um, portraiture from the, from the portrait gallery that she had cut up into pieces so that the kids had to put those back in to get together as a, as a puzzle. And then they came back together again and discussed what those documents meant, what that language meant, um, and a critical thinking exercises ensued about um, change over time and what this nation really stands for and has tried to stand for over time. So it was utterly inspiring. I think many people would think it was too much to do in an 11th grade classroom. Um, never true, but uh, really well accomplished in a second grade classroom.